so in this video I'm going to show you how to create a histogram. So after we import the data into StatCrunch, and I got a video for that if you want to see that, we go into the My StatCrunch section, and then we look at the data that we have. Uh, and the data that we have here is this worksheet. So I'm going to click on that. And then here's my worksheet. Now what I want to do is I want to look at, let's say, my total time in hours, which is this last column. Okay. So what we do is to create a histogram, we click on graph, histogram, and then we look for the variable which is total time. We don't do anything else at this point. And then we're going to click on compute. And there it is. Here's the graph. As you can see, the bin sizes are about 10. And you can always move the mouse over and it tells you, you know, 50 is included, 60 is a number that's not included. And it has this trend, and it looks pretty close to a right skewed distribution. If you want to know a little bit about the um, skewed distributions, please watch my video. All right? I will make it smaller. And we said we wanted to make the bin sizes smaller. So how do we do that? Click on the variable, and it says over here width. So the width I'm going I'm going to say 5. So I'm going to override its uh, automatic process and I'm going to click on compute. And you can see it looks way different. Now it seems to be at 5s, see? 5 to 10, 10 to 15 and so forth. So it's 5, 10, 15, 20. So these are in fives. It still has basically the same shape, a little bit more defined. Now, sometimes we want to know where the median is and the mean. These are more advanced concepts, and I will have another video for you to watch uh, so that you can calculate the mean and median uh, separately. But let's say you want to draw it on the... Uh, histogram here, no problem. Let's click on graph, histogram, and we go all the way down to our total time. And then green will be the mean, red will be the median, and I'm going to do it automatically. I'm not going to tell it what width to use, and there it is. And you can see more evidence for the skew distribution to be on the right because you got the median and then you got the mean and it looks like the mode seems to be over here on the left so what about if there are two groups you want to study and you want to see their uh, histograms maybe compare those two so that's not a problem you click on graph histogram so Again, we want to know the hours. And let's say we want to group it by the instructor, right? Instructor R and instructor P. So what the computer is going to do is going to give me two graphs. And it's going to take all the instructor R's um, data and put it in one graph, all the instructor P's data into another graph. So again, instructor is the variable that I want to use so I can separate the groups. So if I click on Compute, this is one graph. So Instructor P, this is the graph. And then here's Instructor R, the other graph. So if you combine these two graphs, you would get the original. But sometimes we want to separate the data into groups. And in this case, I did Instructor R has seems to have that pattern of a right 
skewed, and here is instructor P, and it looks like they also have a, a right uh, skewed distribution. Again, you can also put the mean and the median um, drawn into the histogram.